sport. It's where you play frisbee and do bicep curls. Whoosh. Okay, maybe that's not that cool, but sweet bicep curls. All right, enough of that fun. We will play frisbee later, but CrossFit Oakland, let's talk the warm up for today's workout. Today, we got a lot of shoulder work coming at us. So we're gonna get right after it with a good general warm up, upper body warm up, lower body warm up, and then I'll talk the practice rounds at the very end. So, starting with our general warm up, we have two sets of 10 jumping jacks, five yoga push ups. Then we'll roll into two sets of 10 thoracic rotations, 10 perfect stretches. Then we'll roll into two sets of six alternating bird dogs and 10 count hollow holds. All right, so jumping jacks again, we all know these old fashioned feet together, hands at our side. Then we're jumping our feet wide and our hands are gonna go straight above our head. So our shirt should come up and our hands should be locked out. All right, nice little rhythm there, do a nice 10. Then we're gonna drop down, beautiful push up position here. Nice tight body, lower down, press up into that up dog or cobra position, float back into down dog, trying to take those heels to the ground as best we can. From here, if we can, let's dive through to the next push up. If not, if you're in that down dog, just rock forward, lower down, press up like so. Again, 10 and five there. Next up, thoracic rotations. Again, we wanna move from our upper back here. So we're gonna go down on our hands and our knees. We're gonna try and block our hips by laying back, pushing back, pushing back, pushing back. Now from here, I'm gonna take my hand, wrap it around here, and then rotate up to the sky. Nice and smooth there, like so. We can also do those with our hands here, rotating like so. Again, hit 10 each side there. Then our good old fashioned perfect stretch. It's a nice big lunge. Drop in there nice and deep. Again, keeping everything square. Big twist to that front side. And then back on that hamstring. Making sure we're stretching that hamstring so if we get the leg straight. Great. Bigger thing is we want to keep everything square. Stretching right through here, not feeling it up in our backs. Bird dogs. Toughest movement we can do probably for most of us. How flat can you keep your back? How tight can you hold your core? So I'm in that all four position. I'm moving opposite hand, opposite foot. I don't want to see this spine do this. Those are called cat cows, not bird dogs. So I'm nice and tight. Out and back. That's why there's only six here. No spine movement. Don't get that foot way up here in the sky and all that. All right. Last but not least here, the hollow hold. So I lock my hollow body in right there. I'm going to keep things nice and tight like so. Alrighty, that's the general warm up. Upper body, we're gonna go arm swings and overhead holds. So we're gonna start on our left arm, swinging it back 10 times, then we'll swing it forward 10 times, then we'll grab an object, hold it up above our head, nice and smooth there. Boom, boom, boom. Great job. All right, then we'll repeat on the other side 10 swings and go for a 15 second hold there. From there, We'll hit two sets of four window, windmills, four scout push-ups. Then two sets of two half kneeling get-ups, or excuse me, half get-ups into two half kneeling presses. And then we'll finish with seven strict presses on each side. So windmills, we take our feet nice and wide, throw the dumbbell or weight in one hand, press it up, then we're sliding the other hand down our body. We're trying to stack our shoulders over each other, going up, and down like so. Big stack, control the weight, follow it with your eyes a little bit, up and down. Try not to just push the hips back or bend the legs. Keep everything locked in nice and straight, sliding up and down there. On a scout push-up, then remember, we're trying to pull the scouts back, push them forward. Pull them back, push them forward. But in a push-up position here, so I pinch together and rock back up. Pinch together, rock back up. Up and down just like that. From there, we're gonna go half get ups to half kneeling presses. So we went over the Turkish get up in a great video, but from here, we're on the ground, whoop, switch hands. Again, post the elbow, post the hand, lift, and back down. Just like so, bridging like that. If you wanna slide the foot in there, that's fine too. We can get all the way to here, and then do our half kneeling get presses. Again, half kneeling, so half kneel here with the weight, Weight is in the opposite hand of the leg that's up. Pressing up, back down, two on each side, rocking and rolling there. From there, seven strict presses. So I'm locking my lower body in. Again, a lot of us want to arch and bridge here. That means we're not squeezing our butts and we're not locking our ribs down. 
So if you want a worse shoulder, continue to do that. Otherwise, lock down tight, squeeze the butt, press up and down like so, okay? Finally, finishing with lower body. This one's kind of easy. It's lunges and carries. So, hold my heavy weight here. I'm gonna do 10 reverse lunges, so stepping back, stepping up, and then taking that back knee to the ground, keeping my hips square straight ahead, moving and grooving through those. Then, I'm gonna lock my arm out overhead, march myself 10 feet forward, march myself 10 feet back, switch hands, rinse repeat on the other side with some more lunges. Then, we're hitting our practice rounds. Practice rounds is just a simulated round for the workout today. Today's workout has strict presses and overhead carries. So we want to remember, strict press, nice and tight, more solid, squeezing the buttons here, locked in, press, back down, press, back down there. All right, rocking and rolling through that. That should get you nice and warmed up. I'm drenched in sweat. Have fun with this workout, gang. We'll see you soon.